Hello everyone, Eric Watson here, freelance writer, player of games, writer of words, recorder of videos, and a mercenary adventurer from Gloomhaven. We are back with more Gloomhaven adventures via Tabletop Simulator, and I am joined by our usual crew of mercs. Chris, who are you going to be playing? Hello, I am going to be playing... I can always forget his name. Uh, every time. And it's still not written down on my character sheet. You know what helps? We, we we play with the Gloomhaven app, and it lets you rename the character in the app to like because it defaults to the class. You can actually rename that to your character name, and that suddenly makes us like use our names all the time because we're staring right. at, at that name. Whereas here, understandably, like you never see your fucking name. Yep. Uh, I am playing Ignis, the Savas Savas Cragheart, level six. Tight. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and Heather. Hello. Hello, who are we playing? I am playing the Harrower Plague Herald, otherwise known as Scourge, <laughs> who is level 8. 8, yeah, we're getting up there now. I am still the Quattrol Soothsinger named Piccolo! Good voice. Piccolo! <laughs> uh, also level 8, and who has recently uh, discovered a cure. I think he's like researching a plague. Is the scenario? Okay. Uh, previously on, we we had to redo the scenario, but we did manage to beat the. Uh... Oh, you know what? We get to read from the uh, the book too. Somebody wants to do that. We uh, the actual storybook. It was uh, stop reading until Oozing Grove has been completed, and we did complete Oozing Grove. Oh, Chris, how would you like to regale us with some? It, it you see the little storybook next to the map up here? Yes. So it's just starting. Stop yeah, reading. I think you have to kind of right click. Okay. I don't know how do you flip pages here. State. I could just do state. Yeah, it's on state Ooh. eleven right now. It looks like. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't remember who Dominic is. Uh, um, I don't know. Some dude in the city that we're. That's I think right. he's like Glenn. researching the history or something. He's okay. A librarian. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, my esteemed patrons. Dominic <laughs> greets you at the door of the town records building. I cannot thank you enough for securing the support of Councilman Greymare. He leads you through the half-filled half shelves of books towards a small room in the back of the building. When I heard the good news, I immediately got to work and continued my writing. Dominic sits down at a large table in the room, his book sitting before him. He gestures you toward the chair as well. It still needs more detail, more detail, more research, but I am proud of it so far. Why don't you take a look at what I have? Nestled in the calm waters of Merchant's Bay, Gloomhaven was founded over 300 years ago as a harbor for trade ships traveling across the Misty Sea. Though newer than most human settlements, it expanded rapidly because of its importance as a hub of commerce for humans and other races. Gloomhaven is integral to the human economy because it rests in the only viable spot on the eastern coastline for harboring large amounts of ships. That the town is loading <laughs> still under military <laughs> rule <laughs> still under military rule causes no end of aggravation to merchants across the continent. Is that true anymore? Actually, <laughs> it's not under the <laughs> rule of merchant necromancers. That's true. Uh, all imports and exports are heavily taxed. The simple truth of the matter is that Gloomhaven is still a vastly dangerous city. Where other settlements have grown far safer over the course of human expansion, Gloomhaven seems to only grow more unsafe, despite countless efforts to tame the surrounding wilds. It is almost as if there is a dark presence outside the walls, bent on tearing apart the city and its citizens. Of course, not all share this opinion. Some merchants believe that the military is actively encouraging the dangerous elements beyond the walls, inciting tribes of vermlings to attack the city, for instance, to remind everyone that the military is necessary for Gloomhaven's survival. It may be a cynical view, but with the Merchants' Revolution toppling every other military government across the continent, it is hard to deny that the military only remains in power in Gloomhaven because of the persistence of outside threats. Dominic wrings his hands. I know, maybe you were expecting more, but I assure you this is just the beginning. In my research, we found a number of sources that allude to the Demon War, the war between humans and Valras to the south that occurred hundreds of years ago to be one of the central causes that led to the founding of Gloomhaven. But the whole thing doesn't make much sense to me. Dominic begins to stroke his beard. 
I mean, this war happened long. Loading. Loading? <laughs> <laughs> it's like an animatronic gift to poke. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not one of my pre responses. <laughs> long before Gloomhaven ever existed, so I just don't see the connection. But I must find out. There's a much deeper story to all of this, and the Demon War is the key to it all. I've requested some books from the Southern Valroth libraries that I hope might shed some light on the matter, but we currently don't have the funds to transport them. We don't have the funds for much, really. Dominic stands on the table and walks you back toward the door. Just keep doing what you're doing. Get and out. I'll... <laughs> and I'm sure some money will trickle down to me eventually. It's a terrible business strategy, yeah. Dominic. It really kind of is. I hope he'll give me money sometime. <laughs> Add City Event 80 to the deck. The event. And then stop reading until Gloomhaven reaches Prosperity Level 5. Bad news, boss. We're already there. We're almost at 6. Oh, boy. All right. Keep reading, monkey. Keep, keep... <laughs> <laughs> what was that City Event <laughs> <at> 80? <laughs> Dominic trots from behind the cat. Like, we're like three steps out the door. He like bursts up the door. <laughs> come on. Come back. <laughs> it's that part in a video game where like, I need you to do this. And your character's like, actually, I already did that. I Continue. Already that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're back quickly. Yeah. Dominic trots quickly from behind the counter to meet you as you enter the town records building. Just the mercenaries I wanted to see. I have something to show you. After vigorously shaking your hand, he turns and ushers you to follow as he moves toward the back room. The text from the Southern Continent finally arrived, and they have been very helpful. They've painted a much clearer picture of the Demon War. Dominic opens the back door and gestures for you to sit down in front of his open book. I'd like you to read the latest entry, and then we'll have more to talk about. In the years of human expansion, it was inevitable that the military would clash with the burgeoning nation of fierce Valroth to the south. Both races had a thirst for power, and this came to a head in the grassland area known as Loading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stormbrew. Both nations... <laughs> Claimed ownership of the region. <laughs> That's right. Both nations claimed ownership of the region, and small skirmishes between settlements quickly escalated into, into an all-encompassing war. The fighting raged for six years. The full attention of both civilizations bore down on these blood-soaked, blood-soaked plains. Both races were equ equally fierce, stubborn, and filled with unquenchable rage. After six mm -hmm. years, the war had taken a heavy toll on both nations, with all of their resources being poured into the war. Both races fell victim to numerous threats from within and from outside their borders. Starvation, disease, and crime ran rampant. Before too long, both would crumble and be destroyed under the weight of the conflict. So it came to pass, directly before what was to be one of the greatest and costliest battles between the two great commanders of the war, that an Aether appeared between the two armies and offered a means for peace. This Aether was the first of his kind that either of these two races had ever seen, and when he presented his offer, the commanders were terribly skeptical. In the end, however, they agreed to give the Aether a chance. Neither commanded tr trusted the other or the Aether. They're making me say Aether a lot. <laughs> or the Aether. So when the Aether told them to follow him to the east, both le leaders brought a battalion of soldiers with them. After a few days of marching, though, a great fog rolled across the plains, and soon the two commanders were loading. <laughs> The two commanders were separated from their battalions. They emerged from the fog alone, just two commanders and the Aether standing in the middle of a great ruin, an entire city of overgrown fog from a log-forgotten civilization. Standing among the ruins, the Aether turned and told these two commanders a story. He told them of the great upheaval and the true history of their two races. When the story was finished, the two commanders made peace on the spot. The Valras renounced their vicious expansionist nature and the two races worked together to build a civilization around strength and commerce. The story of the upheaval was only to told orally, passed down from leader to leader, and many generations after the peace treaty was signed, the descendants of the two commanders began to work constructing a new city as a monument to the treaty, a city built on the very spot where the Aether told his tale, the city of Gloomhaven. Mm -hmm. You look up from the book to see Dominic staring intently at you, a smile on his face. Right? He says. Surely you have the same questions an I do. in his pants. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> Jesus, Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> he 
<laughs> you old for star <laughs> for starters yeah, he's in the corner <laughs> dominic stop we've talked for about starters. this dominic yeah watch was the upheaval it begins pacing around the room stumbling over his robes multiple times <laughs> some sort of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I am so excited! <laughs> Was it some sort of catastrophe? What could the Aester have possibly said to stop an entire war? And Gloomhaven was built on top of an ancient city? We're all aware of the ruins beneath us, but I always thought it was an earlier settlement, destroyed by raiders. But the ruins predate humanity itself. Is this upheaval what destroyed the original city? Mm -hmm. We'll never know, because I'm loading! <laughs> Please, it's a 25 more <laughs> cents. <laughs> Dominic coughs and adjusts his beard. There are, well, too many it's questions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just his areas. I cannot possibly continue without the answers. I've poured over all the texts from the Valroth Library, but this story told by the Aester is in none of them. The book says it was only passed down orally. Orally, I say. <laughs> but that is... But that is hard to believe. There has to be a written record somewhere. He turns back to you and shrugs. I may need your help in the near future, but for now I need to make more contacts and try to gather more information about where a record of the upheaval story could possibly be. I'll send for you when I know more. Stop reading until Gloomhaven has reached prosperity level six. All right. Not there yet. You <laughs> may stop yet. now. Thank you. <laughs> so I've hit a fun snag. Yeah, I saw you got disconnected. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, oh. my uh, tabletop simulator keeps um, crashing. Uh oh, uh oh, it's like the third time. Crashing. Mm hmm. Like a little loading box thing pops up, and then it just closes itself. Oh. Not supposed to do that. Third, third nope. time's a charm. And the box isn't hot. I felt it, so. <laughs> Anybody want to do any shopping while the things are out? Uh, I might want to donate. I kind of don't need to buy any things anymore. I'm out of spots to put things in. Yeah, same here. So maybe I'll just donate to the... Yeah, there it goes again. No. Oh, no. Is it like like a, like a like a program crash? I think so. Hun, come here. See if it'll do it while right. you're up here. You try restarting Steam, maybe. I've not tried that yet. I'll try this one more time. We can never play this game without something going wrong. I know, right? Watch, now that he's standing behind me, it's going to, like, work perfectly. Right. There it goes. Hmm. Let me try restarting my computer. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Yeah. Generally, the solution. We're never going to do that. That is distressing. It is. She's using my video, my old video card, which I know can run Tabletop Simulator. Right. I was doing that before. All the items I mean, off. yeah. But yeah, if you want to donate, do that. 
Might as well donate with that. Should print. First cards, I don't want those. No, you don't. Did you mark your donation? I did. Donation took my cards. Uh, um, let's see, we need a, whoa. Need a city event. Of course, there's forced imps here. That's the irony. Yep. I did those so badly, and they're going to throw them at me now. Yep. Oh, I just think she can't connect to the Wi-Fi now. What the hell? Uh-oh. There's on the fritz. That has nothing to do with the, grid the graphics card, that's for sure. Shouldn't. She's going to restart again. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, I guess go ahead and give us a city event. We're hoping this is going to get cleared up. Okay. Uh, the city event. As you prepare to leave the city on another journey, you are suddenly surrounded by a large group of guards near the West Gate. We hear you've been spreading rumors, one of them says, claiming that the guards are causing the vermling attacks in the city. That's some high-grade garbage you're spewing. My best friend died in the vermlin raid, another one yells. You got something smart to say about that? Hmm. Option A, attempt to calm down the guards and explain the situation. Option B, these guards are not interested in a friendly discourse. Prepare to defend yourself. I would guess we have to be certain, some sort of certain creature to talk them down, but I don't know what creature that might be. I bet I could calm them down. I'm a bard. Maybe. I can disarm them with my beautiful voice. I don't know if they're, yeah. All right, you want to try to calm them down? I think so. Let, right, let, the, let the bard take the lead. Calm down, calm down. Let's all listen to a song. Oh, <laughs> yep, you're a bard. <laughs> Nailed it. You adopt a, also the doctor and the rogue could do it. Oh. You adopt a serious tone and do your best to communicate that you had nothing to do with what was written in the town records. You express remorse for their hardships and miraculously the, grob, the mob grows calmer and disperses. No effect. The only thing I can all. tell is that the scoundrel and the doctor are the only two humans classes. Oh, that's I, I, that's what I was thinking. I, I was thinking you need to be human to you talk to these human guards. Or they, I, I guess the they, they scoundrel put the... was more elfish. I don't think there's elves in this universe. <laughs> I know, but if you look at their picture, it's very elvish. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's just kind of a well, straight bad one if you didn't have the right classes. It is. Well, let's just lose one if you try it with that. Let's see what, what, if you don't try and just fight him. You lose two reputation. All right. Wow. And I crashed again. What the oh, fuck? No. At that point, what I would do is uninstall the, the game and reinstall the game. Really? But I don't know how long that's going to take. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know what else. Let's see if I can get Something's a picture of the, of the error and then Google it. You're getting like an error message? No, yeah. It's, well, it's like pop, popping up with like an error box that has like a loading bar. Like. Uh, oh, yeah. Weird. Find something quick on a Google search. Yeah. Also getting issues with Discord yesterday as well too. I was getting JavaScript issues. Really? Mm-hmm. It was only with Discord. Yeah. 
Um, did we ever update graphics drivers on your computer? We installed the drivers. Okay. Oh, it, it seems to be okay right now. Mm. Hang on. All right, I clicked my color. <laughs> How long will it last? Wait for the flag. It's starting. All right, maybe it's going to work now. Well, while you're here, give us a road event. <laughs> okay. Or you can also bless Let's yourself do. if you want to do that. Uh, do I have enough money to do that? Let me see. I do have enough money to do that. I'll do that. Shut up, Pooh. Take two blessings. Road events. Let's see here. What starts as a light rain quickly turns into something much worse with torrents of water battering your skin and lightning piercing the sky. You're able to find a small rock outcropping and rush under it as thunder shakes the ground. This should protect you from the worst of it, but you don't know how long the storm will last. Option A, brave the storm and continue on your way. It's not that bad. You're probably only going to get the flu. Option B, wait out the storm under the outcropping. Do a thing, don't do a thing. Yeah. I'm at a rock. I don't care. <laughs> you I'm bugs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bugs don't care. The only one who's going to care is Piccolo. Ah. We, we both you? just turn to you and just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not walking in no storm. So wait out the storm? Sure. All right. Eight, number three. It is far from ideal, but the outcropping keeps you mostly dry and protects you from the howling wind. You wait hours and hours, huddled up under the rock until the storm passes. By the time you arrive at your destination, you're a bit slow on your feet due to a lack of sleep. All start scenario with disarm. <laughs> Great. Okay. What was, okay what was the other one? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, specifically the bard ah! that protected us? <laughs> yes. What? I didn't roleplay my bard very well. The other one, but yeah, the other one would have been awful if we did. If... You didn't have the bard, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. discard two cards each. Or it's discard, not actually destroy. Still, still you're like down a turn. Yeah. But damn, I missed that this was like the yeah, bard the bar, one. So how, how, is it just like he sings while you walk? Is that yeah, what you mean? Yeah, she's, she's singing a song in the middle of the storm. Everyone starts to feel better. Uh, okay. Great. I was like, no, hide. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're all disarmed at the beginning. Yep, yep, that means no attacks. And we fighting a big ass bear. Yeah, there's and monsters it's a, right It's here. a discard one, too. By the yeah, way. I got rid of it. Oh, where is my? Well, that's actually. I mean, I can pick stuff that's defensive in the beginning, I suppose. All right. So, forgotten the cure. Personal quest is done. We're going to the forest. It's a gruesome process harvesting the essence of the forest imps you have slain, but nothing will stand between you and saving your village. You saw worse when the old blacksmith started bleeding from his eyes. With enough essence in hand, you head to the alchemy wing of the university, where one of the researchers had promised to help you locate the curative plants found deep within the dagger forest. We'll take some time to isolate the compound, the helpful Quattrell says as she pours the liquid into a large beaker. That part. Once I have it, though, I should be able to form a sort of compass that will point you to the grove you seek. It takes a week, but the Quattrell finally calls you back to her lab and hands you a small circular device. I guess we're supposed to read this before going on the adventure. I guess? That's the timing's odd. Yeah. That should do it. And the compass does prove to be successful. After a day trudging through the dense forest, you come upon a peaceful, secluded grove. Or at least it should be peaceful. Instead, the place is teeming with wild, angry animals eager to sink their teeth into unwelcome intruders. Special rules. The treasure tile can only be looted using a loot action. It cannot be looted by normal end-of-turn looting. The goal is to kill all enemies and loot the treasure tiles. The treasure tile is nothing actually. Uh, it's in the last room, but it is not actually treasured is the scenario goal. Great. So let's kill all enemies, too. So hopefully somebody's got a loot action. I think you all do. 
but uh, something to keep uh, in mind that we actually need. Yeah, one. yeah, I do. I do have one. I don't have one. one. How do you not oh, have yeah, I one? Do. I do have one. Everyone's got a loot. I do, but it's on my bottom and doesn't have a move with it, so it'd be real tricky to set that up. Well, I usually just tank the loot action because it's usually not a garbage card. So I got well, a question. My loot action is a lost card, so. Hmm. Huh. Thanks. Um, what does disarm keep you from doing? Attacking. Attacking. But if I got a, a top of a card that's like it has a whole paragraph but doesn't actually have an attack as part of it, would that be the, the part of the disarm? When you're disarmed, you can't do anything. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You, well, you just can't do the... Mm. No, like, whenever we disarm, like, enemies, they can't do shit. Well, they can still move and heal. Yeah. And put up shields Yeah, they can stuff. do those things, but... Okay, I'll tell you which card... The, specifically, the card I'm talking about is the one that summons obstacles. And then everyone around the obstacles takes damage. Yeah, there's I know. No, there's no actual attack as part of that card. I think that's okay, as long as you're not doing anything that would make you draw from your attack deck. Okay, yeah. I think so. I think that's how it works. It's not considered an actual... Because, I mean, the, the word attack is on most of these. The, right. the, or all of these that are an actual yeah, attack. Yeah, if something... If it says some, if a creature just takes damage of a certain amount, right. I think that's okay. Just You just can't use anything to attack. Okay. Because I'm uh, probably we'll turning just... on a song this turn. Yeah, I may be able to spare some damage in the early game, too, if I'm able to put these obstacles down correctly. What is the purple? The uh, hazardous terrain. It just takes more to cross. Oh, okay, I see. And then the orange is uh, a half-damage trap. Gotcha. It just, it just never disappears. I'm going to actually just try to start getting some curses and blesses out there, since I can't... Not attacking, that's what I do best. <laughs> Fast. I do nothing but attack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that could be funny especially because I'm right next to both of you <laughs> no. poison your delightful bard after each of your move actions poison all adjacent allies and enemies that'd be great <laughs> okay I'll just turn a thing on then turn a buff on yep and y'all got buffs? Songs. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't a loss. No, okay. Okay. That is a fast hound. That is a fast hound. It is not attacking. Move plus zero is just going to run up and muddle. Oh. Like going to howl happens. at us or something. An elite. Why is all these elite enemies? Dear lord. Oh, no. There's a move four. of five and then muddle all adjacent enemies. One, two, three. Uh, he can. Oh, he, doesn't, he, he, would. he doesn't have multi-target, but yeah. Well, it says it bundle all adjacent enemies, so he would move to where he could be adjacent to as many as he could. Yeah, not going to matter anyway, because we're not attacking this round, so I don't know if I should bother marking True. it or not. <laughs> uh, you probably don't need to. It's okay. not going to do anything. Uh, somebody's got like a combo where they damage all people with metal or something. So. Uh, just so you're aware, the Hound does have an auto-retaliate, the Bear has an auto-wound, and our Elite... A uh, fairy over here is an auto curse whenever they attack. Yay! Wow. It is the Cragart's turn. 
Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to turn on my stone pummel. Next four melee attacks, when possible, destroy an adjacent obstacle to add plus three attack. Hmm. Um, and then I am going to rock slide. Summon, th create three single hex obstacles and empty hexes within range four. All allies and enemies adjacent do one or more obstacles suffer two damage. Four. Two. Three. What kind of obstacles would you four. like? Well, rocks. That makes sense. One at a time. I don't have any control. Uh, this boulder, this rock column, is that seems accurate. Okay. Or a crystal. I'll take the crystal. Actually, that's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Say crystals pop out of the ground. I made you to copy them. Actually, okay. give me three. Yep. Oh shit! That was a good move. You're gonna block that. Yep. Oh wait, he's gonna go over the log. Yeah, yeah it's take, gonna take cost him extra movement. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So all three of them are going to take two damage apiece. You just made it a lot harder to get to that fairy. Yes, I did. <laughs> I don't. One, two, three. Yeah, that's the only way I can actually do it on them. Somebody has range, though, right? I do. <laughs> yeah. We're just running. Have it follow us. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, that's me. Alrighty, um, the imps are also not attacking this round. Wow. They have a move plus one and a heal two at range three. So, Elite, I think, stays here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, they're going to heal the ones that are injured the most first. I'm going to put that out there. Okay. How would you rule this? Because everybody just took two damage. Um, I would say that the imp is more damaged than the bear because it has fewer hit points. Okay. It's just going to heal the imp to mm -hmm. any other imp. Two, three. So would it imp the elite imp or would it, would it heal the bear because the bear is closer than normal one? I'd probably the bear because it's closer. So. If they're equidistant, I would, I, the book clearly says that they will heal whoever is the most damaged. Yeah, Although if they're probably, equidistant. Probably is gonna, let's see, one, two... No, it's still in range of you, so it's not gonna move. Stupid two damage didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that shit would start moving closer to us. Yeah, um, I guess the bear will. So, the bear is a move, uh... It's, a, it's an elite... Jeez. That is a big bear. Uh, move of four. It has to go one, two, three, four... Ah, call see? There. Yeah, that was a good call. <laughs> and cannot attack, and then a scourge. So. Well, darn. Makes my bottom one kind of useless. I was going to turn a shield one self on. All right. Uh, I will gain flying and get two XP. Make some fart juice. Still move if you want. I could. But I'm not gonna. Yeah. Because m most of my stuff is long range, so. Alright. I, I am gonna do the bottom half of Disorienting Dirge and curse all enemies within range 3, which is unfortunately only these two. Get two curses added to the deck. Wait a minute. I did not empty their deck out. There's only three here. Ha! Oh. Empty this deck out. Hang on. One. Two. Fail. Yeah. Still got the ones from last deck, time? Yeah, it was full. Of, that did not reset. So let's see. One. Two. My shoe. And then three, I will bless four. all allies within range three. Hey. So both of you get a bless. Sweet. And I will strengthen all allies. Ooh, that's also good. Yep. Yeah, it is. I, I am the king of not having to attack. <laughs> that is absolutely my jam. I actually did not start this round. 
We're blessed and... Got to bless and you're strengthened for your neck, which is why I went super slow. Right. Be strengthened for the non-disarmed round the next attack. time. That is the end of round one. All right. Now we actually get to fight things. Fight things. Does the bear have a shield? Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. Nice. I need to go fast to do it though. Oh, load of hit points. Okay. Yeah, I can do something sexy, but take me going fast, and I don't want to go too fast. Get by that bear. <laughs> right. I, I yeah, I'll go fast, and yeah. Are you so, move? Said, yeah, I am. Um, if something is going to give advantage or disadvantage, and you've got advantage, do they cancel each other we out? We use the D and D rules where it cancels it out. Yeah. Okay. Really not turning a song on still yet. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. So fast. No. So fast. Ruins everything. Well, that means he does not attacking. He puts up a shield of one, he puts up a retaliate of two, and heals himself for two. There it goes in defense mode. Okay. All right, Scourge. Hey, that's me. Um, all right. Like how so Chris I... said, he's going fast, and he's going after uh, all of us. All of everybody? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's the fastest the crack heart can go. Is yeah. <laughs> he's real slow. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spread some scourge. No, I don't scourge like the sound is of that. just gonna open open his open his robes and <laughs> oh, cock cockroaches just fly out. I want a buddy uh, old red. <laughs> no. Wanna you just hear <laughs> and then it's just like cockroaches and wings because yes, cockroaches fly. Alright, so I can hit all of them with this. So if you go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, I can all three of them. It's not a very strong attack, but it does muddle them all. That's nice. Good. That's pretty good. Trying to see if I want to throw some sauce on there, but uh, I might need to save it. Yeah, I'll save it. All right. So it's only an attack one, but everyone will be muddled. Um. So we'll do the bear first. Poisoned. Ooh. All right, so two. Oh, God. Two damage to the bear. He's poisoned and muddled. Waste that bliss. I know. He's got a shield of one, though, doesn't he? Oh, he does. Yeah. All right, so one damage Still one then. Damage. Right. <laughs> Still poisoned and muddled. Still yep. poisoned and muddled. That's the, the <laughs> wooden bit. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do imp number eight. It's muddled for its next turn because it already went. So imp number eight is uh, stunned and cool. plus one, so two damage, but he has a shield of two, so zero damage. Yeah. You're mostly just and getting out the status effects, six. which is good. <laughs> yeah. Curse, plus two, so three damage. So he actually does take a damage. Yeah, screw you. Huh. So he's cursed and muddled. Okay, I got the curse in there. And I gave him his one damage. And then I do have a move two. 
right is it just to move to yeah move to uh i think i'll take it oh, i can't never mind i'll just move back a little bit I'm trying to move out of range <laughs> it's not gonna work well but i'll give it a try that's the best that i can do and i recreated wind pretty good mm -hmm. help us out Oh, I had advantage on all those attacks. You did. You were strengthened. That's true. Shoot. <laughs> you recreate <laughs> using those same cards. I can't. Well, you just, you just it's all in the chat log. The first two. Yeah. All right. So. Um, how do I make first this? two were a stun and a plus one. Wait, hold on. No, first two was the poison yeah. and bless. Yes. All right, so one. the first attack was Poison and Bless. The second one the was second Stun, one was stun one. and Plus One. So it's still the same. So two, so either Stunned or Poisoned for the bear. Bear already went, so I'd give him the Poison. Unless we want to Stun yeah, him for his next, him next turn. turn. Yeah. Would you rather Stun him or Poison him? Uh, Let's Stun him. So take the Stun off that other guy. <clears throat> so after that was... Just your a curse, and, curse plus and plus two. So you're halfway so, through that roll now. Yep. Yeah, I'm halfway through this one. So curse plus two or a plus one. So I'll take the curse plus two. Yep. yep. All right, so the curse stays roll. in their deck and the plus okay. two. So that would have been three easy. damage. So he would have taken one. I right, give him his hit point back. We don't okay. know what he's going to get yet. All right. And then imp six. Plus one or a plus one. So it's two okay. damage, so nothing, and they're still muddled. Okay. All right. There we go. I forgot I was strengthened. Yeah. Now I'm done. Okay. I'm going to do an attack. Oh, I'm going to get hit by the fucking wolf's retaliation, though. Wait, I missed something. Why did the bear not move? Um, The bear did not have a move. It had oh, a shield, that's a right, retaliate, that's and right. a heal. Okay, yep. Put into bear defense mode. Yeah. I'm going to do an attack two and curse on the wolf. So three damage. Unfortunately, he does two damage to me because he retaliates. And that adds another curse to their deck. And I also bless an adjacent ally. You two can fight over that. Uh, we'll give it to actually give it to Scourge since you just spent yours. The one I gave you. Yeah. Scourge, you get another bless. And I have a move three disarm. So what is the somehow? Oh yeah, Hound's doing mega attack. This will be good. Ha! I'm gonna do a move three. I'm gonna go one two and disarm the Hound. Is it for me? All right, this ended up being better for me because I don't. Well, you have are strengthened. To, yeah, I don't have to move into disadvantage position for this. Unfortunately, I'm very sorry, uh, Bugman. You take one damage. What? Because that is unfortunately the card that I have for my move. Oh, sorry. it's on. You now. two are the only I characters just... that can fuck up other people like directly. <laughs> it is on now. But this will be good. Vengeful uh -huh. Uh huh. Because I'm going to throw a boulder at the bear. Uh, it's attack three, range three. And I'm going to burn the earth to add a push two to it. Ah, yeah. Which okay. means I'm going to push him into the trap. Trap so, does three damage. Three damage? Okay. So this is an attack of three, and I am buffed. Either attack of one. Or attack a five. I will take the five. Oh. Um, he's a one shield, right? Uh, mm -hmm. This round, yes. Four damage, and then he gets pushed two back into the trap. Which does how much? Three. Three more. Okay. And does that disappear the trap? Uh, it does the not. Does it go away? That was oh, actually stay okay. on the board. They're like, it's like lava fields or something. Gotcha. Okay. And that will do it for me. 
get an experience. Okay, the imps have both have multi attack with poison. Yikes. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we've got elite imp is going to obviously be targeting you two. Good news is it's an attack of one. Bad news is it's a poison each time. Great. But it is muddled. So we'll do Kragart first since you're closest. So it's going to take the worst one of these. So uh, zero damage, but you gain a poison. Okay. This is a waste of my curse. It's going to only do one damage anyway. And <laughs> on uh, Scourge is a straight up miss, but you are poisoned. And the back imp, let's see, move of four. One, two, three, four. So we can move up one more. Target both of you. Four, five, yeah. Still you two. Um, and it's the same thing. We'll do drag art first. Although this time it's an attack of three because of the poison. Ooh. Ooh, so okay. why is he doing yeah. more damage than the other one did? Two damage. Oh, sorry, you're right. It's attack of uh, uh, two with the poison. So minus one is one damage. One damage. Okay. I forgot it was a minus one, yeah. Uh, so attack of two against Scourge with disadvantage is one damage. My shield takes care of that. And the Hound is disarmed, which is great, because it has a multi-attack set up. Not get to do that. Nice. That is the end of round two. All right. Actually shut down the big hitters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, their muddle goes away, by the way. Uh, yes. Stun stays, but the metal leaves. Technically, the bear will be muddled for its next round, but it's stunned anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, oh, I don't have my heal song. Shoot. Oh yeah, I do. I'll make that so I can get the poison away. Oh, more poison. <laughs> Hmm. Drinking the last of my Sam Adams pumpkin beers. Nice. I got these in right. like Thanksgiving week, and I was like, oh, this will be delicious. <laughs> and then I got like halfway through the box after like two weeks. I was like, I'm pretty sick of, pretty yeah. sick of this. <laughs> had so much of this. Somebody could kill this wolf for me. That would be real nice. I assumed you guys had the wolf taken care of. I was already, already moving on. That's <laughs> even that wolf in my head, my tail lights. Stupid wolf. Yep. Well, it's going to attack me with an attack of four and immobilize me. Thanks. This. Oh, damn. Five. So that's a shield. Make that a three. Ow. I'm mobilized. I wasn't planning on moving anyway. Uh, on my turn, I will turn on the healing song, and all allies may perform a heal to self action at the beginning of their turns. Yay, that'll get rid of our poison. Exactly. And I'm going to do an attack four, range four, push three on the bear. You know, it is stunned this round, but it's going to keep fucking up that bear. 
And add a curse. And I got a bless on that one, so it's an attack of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I added a curse. Magnifico. After getting a chunk bitten off with the wolf. <laughs> take my rage out on the bear. Oh, and I, uh... Which did I think, didn't I? Yeah, it's got a push of three on that thing. Which I can think Oh, so you can push him into the... Th yeah, okay. Right there. <laughs> nice. He's stunned anyway, but yeah. That's... <laughs> Fuck you, bear. Yep. All right, the bear. Well, if he wants to come at us, he's got to either go the long way around to get down to you. Yeah, which or I'm sure through he will, the log. His movement's fine. Yeah. And so the bear is stunned this turn, doesn't do anything. And it's Scourge. Okay. You get to heal. One, two, three, poison. Four. Oh, yes. Well, poison. All right, what was I going to do? All right. All right, I'll do an attack two, range four, target two. I'll hit the elite imp and the wolf for an attack okay. of two. Um, and eh, do we have like real bad things in the next couple rooms? Um, I'm guessing the first room and the last room are probably the hardest. Okay. This one. So I don't know why we had so many elites in this first room. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we seem to be doing uh, okay so far, I'll say. If we can get this hound taken care of before it rips me a new asshole, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to see if I wanted to throw some sauce onto it. Yeah, I think I will. I like it a sauce. I like it a sauce. So I'll do a plus two attack to everything. Um, so it's an attack four, range four, target two. So the elite imp and the wolf. Attack oh, four. Yeah, it should be hopefully good. Uh, wasn't this supposed to shuffle last time? Hang on. No, because that was the other one. Okay. Making sure. All right, Wolfie. Attack four. Hey. <laughs> wow. That's an eight. Bye, Wolfie. Wow. Nice. Super. All <laughs> uh, that was really good. <laughs> that was great. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the other guy, attack four, poisoned, six total. That kills him too. Ow, Jesus! Magnifico. So. Mm-hmm. And then that was just my attack. It's the other card I have. Oh, it's just gonna be a generic move. But yeah, I'll do that. One. Get you a coin. Two. You deserve it. I do deserve it. <laughs> a surviving imp. Same thing I did last time. Move, attack, minus one, target, and... Oh, this time it curses instead of poisons, though. Ah, oh, great. Yeah. Uh, so range of four, move of four. It can pretty much hit whatever the fuck it wants. So if it goes... Here. One, two, three, four. It would target Cragheart and me, I think. Yeah, because you're higher in the higher initiative, initiative order. Yep. And we're equidistant. So, it's an attack of one. Disadvantage. So, we'll do Crack Heart first. Ah, I want to waste. So, you get a curse, <laughs> Crack Heart, no damage. Why did you draw twice? Oh, you're right. You shouldn't have drawn twice. I was used yeah, to you metal. missed both of you. You missed both, yeah. Well, I'll reshuffle this. Yeah, you're right. I was, yeah, you're... Uh, so, yeah. I got the curse, yeah. Yeah. I was used to doing their muddles from... <laughs> Before. 
he's all right. Yeah. So cursing at forest imps doesn't really fucking matter because I don't do much damage anyway. Yeah. No, it's just the extra shit that they do. That I mean, it could have. It would have come real handy with the wolf. For the, I assume the bear. The bear hasn't been. We've, shut we've done. A, we've down. done a pretty good job of shutting that bear down. That bear can fucking yeah. hurt like a motherfucker. All right, crack heart. Heal your poison. All right. No, you don't get to heal. Just the poison. Right. Right. Um. Is it better for me to attack the imp or the bear at this point? Um. Well, this <coughs> can be a pain in the ass with status effects. The bear can fuck us up, but we have pushed it back a ways. Oh, I would not be surprised. I mean, God, its base movement is uh, a five. Okay, so it could, it could it's, make it down it's, to It's us. closing uh, in on us, yeah. I'll try to kill the bear. Two, three with my move, and then I'm going to clear the way, move one adjacent. There's an adjacent one where I'm at, yes. Move one adjacent hex obstacle to an empty hex within range four, do an attack of two, target all adjacent enemies. Then I'm going to burn some earth to add a plus one attack to that. I get a couple XP. So this is the this crystal pillar is going to move right here. And it's going to do attack of three on the bear. Three damage. So close. Yep. So close. And that is it for me. All right. All right, so I got a question on my stone pummel. It says, on the next four melee attacks when possible, destroy an adjacent obstacle to add plus three attack. Are all of these obstacles, is the big are the big trees obstacles? Uh, that is an obstacle, yeah, that's one obstacle. Okay, is the log an obstacle? Uh, the log is not an obstacle, it's hazardous terrain. Or not hazardous, it's a uh, difficult terrain. I see, okay. Every, anything with a green border is an obstacle. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I may go may go slow and let the bear just attack me. I may go faster and try to kill that bear. I'm not a oh, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Hey, let the bear attack me is not the <laughs> of a pussy. It's balls of steel. Come at me, bear. Yeah, that's like Scarlet in their game last night. That's, that's right. Scarlet. Kind of uh, out of all my range attacks, I've used them all this this particular fight. Well, if I can kill that bear, then I can have you turn around and kill the imp because I'm not. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, where did I put my house shoes? Uh, remind me again to open a door. Do you have to be standing on it or next to it? On it. On it. We learned that lesson the hard way. I swear we played like 20 scenarios before we yeah. learned of that. Because before when we were playing, you had to stand next to it. That was such a fucking mm -hmm. ass help. Ass whipping. Yep. Okay. I'm the fastest. Can't speak for the song. And at the bottom of Melody and Harmony, I will move three and attack three at range three. Charge that bear. Oh god, I hope this hits. <laughs> yeah, you do. Four damage. Right. Yeah, bear's dead. Slain that bear. And I'm not going to do my top action at all. It's another, <laughs> it's another song, and I don't want to do that one. Your bottom was a move and attack? It was. 
Hollywood. This character is so weird. All of his things are on the bottom action, and the tops yeah. are mostly just, do you want to turn on a song? That's, that's well, I end up strange. fighting over all my bottoms for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. It's bananas. Yep. It's almost those are almost like like the uh, monster cards. Then your your bottom. It's like the whole thing is just on one card. Yeah. All right, Scourge, you beat the forest imp via tie. Okay. Well, I'm gonna poison all allies adjacent to the target, but you killed the bear, so. Huh. All right, so I'll do an attack four, range three on the. Thing. He's just out of range, so I gotta move first. Never mind. Okay. Well, I was gonna heal you guys, so oh well. I, I, I do could, get to I heal could, though. I too. Well, yeah. too bad. I have to move. Oh my god. One. I'm just gonna move up here. One, two, three. All right. So attack four, range three, make air. Five damage. Yeah, he did. Ow. My goodness. All right. Well, let me click the word. You gotta wait till like, it turns into a button. <laughs> and then that's it. Um, I, made, I made air. Air's dead. Oh, Greg folks, I'm very, I'm very sorry, but, this, but this, is, this is important to me. Um, I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> This turn? One, two. Yep. Oh, you got that fucking thing that has to have enemies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, yeah. You don't want to go through the trap, do you? Uh, you I can. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah. How, how much damage is it? Three damage. Three. Three damage. Okay. He suddenly goes insane and charges through the brambles to open the door to the next I have enemies. to open the door. <laughs> you asshole. Enjoy that bear in your ass. And wolves. Oh shit. That's the same wolves room. Going. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is all the same room. I didn't realize that. Craig, aren't you asshole? <laughs> Oof. All right. Well, let's do, let's do And they all get a turn now. Yes, they do. Once you finish yours. Three. Here's a question. Uh, Cave Bear already had his turn go. Do I? Oh, no, they get. Hmm. I guess I don't draw a new card, right? I just use the card that exists as their right. thing. Okay. No, right. Yeah. Yeah, they, everybody gets a chance to go, so after your turn, they all catch up. Okay. Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm if you do... stand at the door, only two of them are really going to be able to hit you. That's that's true. Unless the pixels and it's... fly up. Yeah. Uh, you'll need to draw a card for the wolves. Yeah. The hounds. Um, I can no. hit two of the wolves with my sentient growth, so I'm going to do that. Um, attack of two on the two regular wolves down there. Attack the first. There you go. Okay, three damage. And a wolf the second. No. Uh -oh. No damage. Did we ever, we never drew a bear for this round no, either, right? Yeah, we, we did. did. There's a cave bear, number 61. You need a hound card. You just need a hound card. Oh, because I... Okay, I drew it, the bear just didn't get to go. Yeah. Right. Okay, so you need to draw... Died before. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So now the hounds get to go once Chris is done. I think everybody gets to go. You open the door. Yeah, but the hounds go first. Right, okay. Yes. All right, sorry, what are you doing, everybody. Chris? What's up? Did my attack. Hope it was worth it. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I can move back. I can move back again. Make only one of them. I've only done three. Three of my four. Bad idea. I swear I got no, here. I thought you couldn't do that. You can't move, attack, and then go back to your oh, move. Oh, that's card. true. Oh, I have to do it all at once. You, you have to finish your move like as part one, of the move. Two, three. You're right. I wouldn't be. I'd be out of range if I did that. That is true. So, yeah. yeah, you can't separate your move out. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Chris. That's right. All right, it's a good idea, but didn't quite time out. Basic move and attack. Um, Elite has a move of five. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, one, two, or wait, one, two, three, four, five. I can go across the log. Yeah. Uh, its attack is a four. Okay. 
And oh my that goodness! That is an eight points of damage. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it, Krakow! Um, you fucking madman. Well, I good thing I have that anti crit helmet, right? Yeah, right. good thing. <laughs> I can take one of that off and only take seven. Lord, dear that. Honestly, for the amount of times that stun and metals come up, I wish I had taken an anti crit helmet. It's yeah. much, it, it's coming it would have come in much. I guess more it depends often. on the enemies. Almost never stun. The yeah. muddle can definitely come up, but I very I think there's like that one kind of Drake that stuns you. Maybe like it's pretty damn rare. Yeah. All right, that was one enemy. Yeah, it was. Uh, the others have a move for attack of three. One, two, three, four. Thankfully, these are the only two that I'm ever able to reach you. Yeah. Pack of three. Three damage. Two. And at this point, I believe the melee ones cannot reach you at all. So I think... They wouldn't try? I think their AI shuts still down. Still try to move. No, they'd still move up. Would they still move up? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the part where it gets confusing for me. So Wolf would go... You know, there's no conceivable... Still try to get as close as possible. Okay, there's no path for it to take. Right? I, I don't know. I always thought that if the enemy... No literally can't go... Like, if there's no path for it to take, it just shuts down as if it can't do anything. I can't. I'm. I'm ashamed that I played this much of Gloomhaven, and I still don't quite have a grasp <laughs> on this rule. <laughs> I can Google it real quick. See if bear would move an four. Like if there's no, if there's just obstacles in the way, essentially, it can't get to you. I guess these aren't obstacles; they're enemies, but it still can't occupy that same space. Right. Would it try to get as close as possible, or does it? Or does its AI shut down essentially? I'll check the imps. The imps do have a range. So they would definitely crawl forward. Of four. Two. One. Two, three, four. Four. Actually, that one could hit you. I'll hit you. Monster focus when... Yeah, the four stems can hit. I'm gonna start hitting you with the four stems. Okay. <laughs> Bear can't hit you either way. All right, so it's just two from the elite is four damage. It's four damage. In the uh, four damage mm -hmm. from the elite imp, and you get a curse. So, hunt. It's okay. Written in the if a monster cannot move into attack range. It will still use its movement to get as close as possible to its focus. Okay. Why do I not ever? Well, I'm I'm reading it. I'm reading something else that's contra contradictory to that. So I'm now that's very confusing. If a, if a melee monster has no path to get to any to well, this this may not be an official ruling because it's like the way it's worded, but it says if a melee monster has no path to get to anybody because all the potential melee hexes are blocked, it won't move at all. It will just chill in the back of the room or whatever. That doesn't sound very official, but mm -mm. I don't know what. <laughs> Where he got that from. That's how I thought we've done it. It's up to you. I don't care. Yeah. I'm just it's we we play it so many different ways it's hard to know. Well if we leave the bear there, I think that saves you one attack from an imp. The other one will also hit you uh with a one damage. Okay. Oh yeah, move the wolf back. And this one will go to. How you doing there, boss? That was painful. It was painful. And that is the end of the round. I guess I'll be doing a short rest then. <laughs> yep. Okay. I will be doing some. Potion drinking.
Okay, so the official Gloomhaven FAQ. If a monster can't get within range to attack with its movement, will it still move closer? Absolutely. Monsters will well, always use the minimum movement required to get as close as possible to a hex where they can attack their focus. Right, but what if that's, it's... That's range with the, when, they, when they can get to Right, attack. That's if they just can't reach it. But what if literally they can mm -hmm. never reach it if the way is completely blocked? That's the, that's the question we have. Obviously, mm -hmm. they always move towards if they can. They always get closer. But if they literally have no conceivable path, they have no melee hex to reach the target, then do they just do they still try and move up and crowd the box, or does their AI just be like, "Well, I can't find a target. I'm shutting down." Because the latter, I must have gotten that somewhere from the rule book or something. I, everything that I, I'm seeing says that it does not, if it cannot find a focus, then that's, I mean, that's the whole basis of its AI, basically. The exception being, of course, if it's got range, then they can just go forward really nice. All right, Chris, how are you going to survive this? I don't know. I have no idea. I can stun the wolves in front of you. Okay. I'm just going to fly over them. You're going to go in there? <laughs> You're all insane. Someone's got to. Well, fuck. If Chris can hold the line, we can at least wait around for... I mean, he's going to get pelted by the imps. I can't stop that. But he's at least blocking, technically blocking the bear and the other wolf. I mean, you could, if you go super slow, you could maybe fly in there. But that's still fucking terrifyingly dangerous. Yeah, I'm gonna stun I, those wolves. I, okay, I can stand here and although yeah, that if I stun those wolves and you stand attacks. there, the only thing attacking you are the imps. Okay. I'm gonna go quick. Although we've seen the wolves can technically go quicker than any of us can go. Right. So hope they don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out which which of my bottoms to take out of the Okay, I'll take those two. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you took so I much damage you. that last round. I did. I really did. Off for the battle goal. That's right. Got to get that battle goal. <laughs> he says as he dies. <laughs> Got to get that battle Worth goal. it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be really fucked up if I did my ability that has another another ally perform an attack four, and you did that on a monster that could retaliate, and that retaliation killed you. Oh no, that would be terrible. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Uh, you, know, you could kill so. somebody. Yeah, assuming they didn't kill the enemy. They were that low on health. Okay. All right. Oh, thank goodness the wolves were not quite as fast. <laughs> All right. Not Gain quite. XP for the song. So first, I'm going to do an attack one at range three, curse in a triangle formation. So I'm going to attack both of the wolves and curse them in the process. Let's do wolf number one. I'm going to add another curse on there. And then I drew a curse, which is fine. I'm not doing any damage. They still get two curses. Or that one gets two curses. And then the second one. 
Wow. Three, four, five damage. Plus the wow. one is six damage. Yeah? No, that first one wasn't rolling. What? What am I doing? First one was not rolling. The first one was not was rolling. rolling. Yeah, I cheated. Okay, yeah. let me put those back. I was like, that's too much for me. So it's a plus one, so it is uh, two damage, and the disarm's not going to matter because I'm about to stun. Right. Um, that adds another curse. All right, and then that adds an XP. And then the top action, I will just stun both of those wolves. Okay. Got you, boo. <laughs> I don't do much damage, Save but me. I can try to keep you alive. Yep. All right, so the hounds do nothing. They are stunned. I'm There's gonna... one more wolf. Or no, he's, he's, he, but can't he's, move. he can't yeah. He's not doing anything because he's shut down. Yep. Unless they have another thing they can do, like a heal or something, they can still do that. Right. The imps I cannot stop, however. Right. And they are going to heal. Move plus one, heal two, range three. Run up and heal their wolf buddies, I guess. I guess, uh, yeah, it's going to heal that one. Um, this one will move, so it's in range of you eventually. One, two, three, four. So they're all going to be in range of you next, but... Oh yeah, they do heal. Yeah. So this one has to. Okay. I don't know if this if the elite would actually move down to heal this one. I think it still focuses the enemy. His his heals only in range three. Normal oh. one would, though. All right, scourge. All right. <laughs> So I'm going to do a move four, and I'm flying, so I don't care about any of these things. One, two, three. And then I shall do an attack three, range two, tar Wait, damn it, I picked the wrong card. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, that's okay. I have my helmet. It gives me range three. I think that's all I needed. All right? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, so we'll flip that over. So yeah, attack three, range two, target two, get an XP. Four damage. Oh, we lost Chris. There he is. Oh, whoops. Discord is... What is going on? The technical difficulties tonight. Uh oh. Oh no. It's connected from server. I if it's a. Okay. Um, that's a first. Hello? Hello. Hey. What happened? I don't know. I don't know if it's our internet or what. I got disconnected from everything. Yeah, it said you guys just, it's, I, I lost the connection to you and it said you guys left Steam, so <laughs> something happened at the Watson household. I guess so, yeah. Our internet blubbed. I think so. <laughs> um, well, hopefully I can load the game back up. Right. I don't wonder when, yeah. The Wi Fi on all my devices, so. It does autosave, thank God. Yeah. 1054. I don't know when the last autosave was. Five minutes ago. All kinds of technical difficulties tonight. <laughs> Oh, 
they have a trail at Baldur's Gate on here. Really? This puts me one player to the Uh, let's see, how far back did it save? Uh, the cards aren't flipped over. No, they're not. Chris doesn't even have cards here yet. I guess before the round. I can't click my color. It doesn't do anything. Uh, it says you're blue right now. Let Chris load in, that might take a second. Loading, loading. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it saved it before that round. Okay. Save it before, I, before or after I use my potions. Before I use my potions. <sighs> well, before... Okay. After I, after I use one potion, before I use the other one. <laughs> I still can't click my color. Uh, it says you're already blue on you my You already hands. did. Yeah. It, on my screen, it's the color. The blobs are just like pulsating. Uh oh. Maybe exit out and just get back into it? Yeah, I'm going to try. Can you get your cards out there again, Chris? Uh, yes. Which cards did I use? That is the question. You guys going to do a range attack, I think? Just add damage to my range attack? I think. Yeah. Should all play out exactly, because all the cards are still sitting here. Right. They're all... Yeah. All right. All right. So same thing. Bottom half, attack one, curse three on both of those. Wolves, top one first. I draw my curse and I curse the enemy twice. Second wolf is a plus one disarm, so that is two damage. It's gonna get healed this round anyway. So that's what the imps are doing. I stun both of them, which I'm not gonna bother putting on there because it's their turn next. Imps, I get another one for the song. Uh, the imps are going forward and healing. Chunk, yep. chunk. And Scourge, you're up. Mm-hmm. Why'd you only heal this one once? Um, because I think all the enemies still focus their main target. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a range of three. So if we assume the elite... One, two, three. One, two, three. ...would heal the wolf. One, two... Oh, you're right. You're always right. I love that that's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just did move four, see four. I'll grab a drink, honey. Huh? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I do. I don't want any more water. <sighs> I don't know what I want though. So I'm gonna XP for this. Attack three. It's range two, but I'm using my helmet. Make it range three. With a target two, so Wolfie number one was rolling four. So how many damage was that? Attack three, so four damage to Wolfie one. 
And he's poisoned. And then Wolfie 2, attack 3. 3 damage to him. Okay. And then I got myself the XP, and that is it for me. And I'm going to go get me a drink. Right. I am going to... Throw a boulder at that imp back there. Number 10. It's going to be an attack of four, range of three, and all adjacent to targets are going to take one damage. So my attack of four against the fairy. Attack of six minus two is four damage. Nice. And these two take one damage apiece. And I make Earth. All right, Bear still doesn't okay. do anything. You're... Too many wolves in the way. Too many wolves. There are two wolves inside of you. <laughs> but also two wolves right next to you that can't be <laughs> passed over. Still blocking that path, Lons. Oh, did you heal too at the yeah. start of your turn? Uh, I did not. That's going to be important. <laughs> Probably a good thing to do. Oh, I actually need to be more in range. Damn it. Oh, well, two enemies into that. Or I could turn on my disadvantage song. Hmm. Song just has such a good bottom half. <laughs> All my cards have such good bottoms. Let's do this. Support character, and I will support whatever choices you make. <laughs> so supportive. So I will supportive. support you, no matter how insane they are. Well, now I've got a problem, see, because if we if they all charge us in this one entryway, I'm gonna have to get to that open door before they're all dead. Well, that's your that's your problem. We'll have to cross. <laughs> Just leave a single imp alive while you charge forward. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. Just, just leave one imp alive. That is a hard battle goal to get to get done. It is. There are yeah. certain scenarios that are literally like you're defending one room and then always enemies yeah. spawning. That you can do that one in, but otherwise it's real tricky. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming.
Alrighty. Fastest one of all. So fast. So fast. God, I'm so, why is everyone in this map so fast? Yeah. I'm second to last with 35. Hounds are definitely fast. The bear just randomly got a really fast one there. Yeah. Um, I will strengthen all allies. Ooh. Are That's about to come in handy. And, I, yeah, I did my double support again. I'm going to curse all enemies in range 3 and bless all allies within range 3. You're all strengthened and blessed. Our XP, and I'm going to add two more curses oh. to the enemy. We're out of blesses here. Those are finite, so if we do run out, I can't bless anymore. Yeah. All right, bear, you do nothing. And alas, the hounds. Oh, they got their pack tactics this turn. That's never good. That's real. Kicking the rock man. <laughs> it's a real kick in the pack tactics. All right, so the elite gets attack zero plus two because it is adjacent to an ally, which means it's an attack of six. Go, go, curse on Craigheart. Yes. Yay! Yay, okay. <laughs> Normal one is an attack of five. Oh, oh no! The game Ooh, giveth is... and taketh away. Yeah, that is That's unkind. Ten damage. Is that one from my hand? Uh, yeah, burn a card from your hand. You can't okay. afford the health. Really, all I got there. Yo, kiddo, Taco Bell. All right. Yeah. Last one. Our last one is nothing, and it is scourge. Okay. Well, that was just painful to watch. <laughs> <laughs> The wolves are eating me alive. <laughs> they really are. I'm eating a cookie. Uh, the enemy usually doesn't get this many crits either. This is some yeah. bullshit. I'm throwing curses in that deck, and it's got <laughs> two bad crits on you. All right. So we're going to have a volatile bomb go off and hit both of the wolfies. So it is an attack of four. Yeah, range three. Uh huh. One, two, three. Good. All right. So, Wolfie one, attack four. Stunned. That's five damage to Wolfie one. He dead. Nice. Okay. Wolfie two, attack four. Attack eight. Hell he dead. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Yo, look. Okay. Only would gone seven points faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the fastest I can go. Because <laughs> my 16 is my flying card. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the good news is the other enemies weren't able to now rush up to him because they've already gone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Except for the four stems. Which they would have done anyway. Yeah. And then I made some air. I keep making air, but I never use it. I don't have any cards that use it at all. Huh. Yeah. Uh I can move two, but I can use my boot. Actually, I think I will. I'm going to use my boots, do my movement. One, two, three. Because, I mean, you're kind of hurting. I can take a yeah. hit or two um, and let them target me versus you for a hot minute. Yeah. Okay. There you go. He moves Let's up. Say I never did nothing nice for you. Raggy. I'm going to move up one. Which should say, still save me from most of them. Just not the wolf. Um, and I'm going to move up one, and then I'm going to summon obstacles everywhere. Uh, can you duplicate this rock column three times for me. Just take the damn crystals. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. We won't be coming back here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna spread my obstacles everywhere. 
if we were playing the physical game, I'd be like, just fucking grab those over there. I'm not gonna get more of those. Yeah. Alright, now don't fucking seal off our path. Ah! It's fine. Actually, you know what? That actually will seal, seal off our path if I... No, just, well... just be careful. We have... I mean, it's it's getting a little dicey. Ooh, block the wolf from being able to get to you without going over the... That's... The yeah. Log. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's got pretty good movement. Yeah. Won't that hit you? It will, actually. I don't want to get hit. So instead of... Oh, yeah, no way. <laughs> I don't actually want to get by that. Um, so that lets just do two, two damage to everybody. Nice. Yep. Uh, and an XP and generate Earth and uh, heal, heal is... two also. And yeah, heal two. The important bit. Yeah. That's okay. A song still. All right, the imps have an attack plus one this round, a move minus one by the range of four. So uh, the elite is going to target Scourge. And just an FYI, I just lost my uh, my loot card in, during my short rest. So uh, does anybody else have a loot card? I do. Are you going to be able to use it? I've still got it. Yeah. Okay. We literally can't win this scenario if we don't have a loot card. So just making sure somebody's got one. Do you have one? Uh, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. So Mine's just, I can't just gotta be careful. move and loot at the same time. I have to move into position and then next turn do a loot. Yeah, Yeah. so do I. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so do I. I don't know, I don't know how many loot then move cards there are. Move and loot. All right, so the elites, uh, it's attack of three on Scourge. Is one damage, but it also adds a curse because it is the elite. Fine. Add a curse card, and then the normal uh, will also target you. Two, three, yeah. With the uh, same thing, attack of three. This one does not curse, but it does more damage. Does four damage. Okay. End of that. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. That's what am I thinking? Let's do that. Okay. Hound is first. 
Uh, move four, attack three. Yoink. Attack Kragheart for two damage. Okay. That's Scourge. Okie dokie. What am I doing again? Oh, yeah. Uh, attack two, range three with some metal. So I can hit all three of them. Because they're in a wonderful straight line. Mm -hmm. And I have a big flower pattern. <laughs> the two, three, two. Um, oh, I don't have darkness. That makes me sad. Oh. Mm. Oh. All right. So just go in order, top to bottom. So it is a base attack two. Mobilize. Oop. Four damage. Hey, that goes. That should kill it. Right? Uh, it's got shield no. two. Damn. Two damage then. Do so you want to use your. Uh... Oh. I don't have anything. You always forget you got this thing. <gasps> oh yeah, I'll use that. Your <laughs> range attacks. Yeah, we'll do that. Screw that. No shields. Screw you and your shields. That was dead. There. Uh, Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Do, 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 Dr. Bear. He's got his PhD in mauling. Four damage to the bear. And then the other little imp thing is three damage. Or sorry, two. But also ignore the shields? Yeah, because it's my entire attack action. Sweet. Is that what your thing does? Ignore shields? Yep. Oh, right. The bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I still have my move. I don't know. I can do like a base move too. Do I want to get that close to the bear? Uh, the bummer is. Move, I prefer you didn't move right next to the bear because that's where I'm going to go to attack him. The bear literally does not oh. move this round, so as long as you're not next to him, you won't get hit by him. Oh. He goes right after you. So, unfortunately, getting that coin would result in a painful attack. Right. Oh. All right. I'm going to go for it. Go for it. It's going to be an attack of uh, five with a wound. No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Since there's I'll nobody, just sit here and drink my chocolate milk. Since there's nobody near the bear. It does not get to do anything. Uh, the imps are dead. So we go to Craghart. All right, Craghart is two. going. Uh, both of you heal too. Sorry, uh, uh, yes. Scourge. Oh, yeah. You've been you've been at full health this whole time, so I haven't been reminding you. <laughs> Whoops! I had the wrong button. Not that one. That one. Craghart is going to move up to the bear. Then he's going to do an attack one and target all adjacent enemies as part of the movement. Um, I'm going to add a stun onto that. I've got two ways to add a stun onto that. I'm just going to do it. Um, hit him with the warhammer. So this is an attack. The warhammer? Of, that's right. Attack of one plus one is two. If I should do this on the second attack, I might kill him. Um, then I'm going to do an attack of three, but I'm going to push him into an obstacle, which deals two damage to him. So first is the attack of three. I am going to kill him. He is dead. Nice. One, two, three, four, five for the attack. And then he gets knocked into this obstacle, which destroys it. All right. That was a good and combo. he dies in the process. I just Fair. hammered him in one of my crystal columns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And that, I also give him XP for doing that. That'll do it for me. Okay. XP. Wait, I don't um, know if I got rid of my coins. Have I, picked up, have I picked up any coins yet in this map? You no, I have. I thought. I no, I've gotten one. both of I've gotten two. I feel like I've gotten at least one other, but I've got four down here. That doesn't seem right. Oh, wow. Uh, I know you picked up one of the wolves, and then she got the other one. Yeah, you should only have one plus the one that you just got, so two. I don't know how you got four. I don't know. 
you just probably forgot to put them off your thing from last time. Maybe. Because I got the only coin in the the only person who picked up a coin in the previous room. Yeah. Um. Then I'm gonna do an attack of three on the wolf. Range three. Four, five, six, seven. I'm actually gonna kill that wolf. That was a rolling, oddly enough. I'm doing that. Shit. Well, there goes my thing. I, Sorry, I hope boss. That, I hope that door got beat up for nothing. I literally did not <laughs> expect to do seven damage. Yeah, that's crazy. Jeez. I was like, just a matter of fact, like, oh, I'll just shoot that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then not doing anything with my top action again, because I have a weird thing where it's all bottoms. That, it, yeah, sorry. That is the end of the round. I, I didn't think I was going to be able to make it, to be honest. Cause, like, we, it would have been, we yeah. Were, yeah, it's a long way. Yep. Oh, shit, there's traps right there. That sucks. I got a way to clear them. I got a move a move that lets me clear traps as I move. Okay. I'm just going to fly over them. <sighs> well, my battle goal is to only short rest, but God, I could. Well, actually, I don't need to long rest, I guess. Are any of you guys long both of my cards, Both of my cards were impossible to get, so. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not getting your battle goal this time? Can we help I you with might. That? That's I your, don't know. That's your personal quest. Yeah, mine's having a certain number of cards in my hand and having to discard. It's really hard to get. Is it the one that you want a lot of cards or not a lot of cards? Not a lot of cards. Okay, I seem to be short resting constantly. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, what you I'll do be, it towards I'll the end blowing, of the game. Yeah. yeah. I'll be blowing some lost cards in the next. Yeah. But I mean, you can short rest with like six cards in your hand if you want. That's just, you'll just be get rid of, get rid, yeah. get rid of cards in your discard pile. Yeah. All right, I'm going to short rest then. I drink a heal, healing potion. Oh, uh, no. I just I just short rested, so yeah. Sorrenting dirt. Curses. Uh. Yeah, there goes one. Yeah. All right, so we're just hauling ass up. Yeah. I don't. My best move is a three. All right, Raggy, heal too. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a heal four, range two, and whoever needs it, I guess you're both the same. Well, you're not doing, you're not healing yourself, Piccolo, right? I'm not, no. So here, give it to him. <laughs> yeah. Generate Earth, and then I'm going to move four. One, two, three, four. I can open the door next turn. Okay. That would be good. Yep. Uh, scourge. Two, three, four. Um, I've got a three, one, two, three. Oh, shit. I could do a move five, but you took the spot. I don't want to mm. damage myself. So mm. I'm just going to go move three. Uh, and I strengthen all allies, so you guys are strengthened. Nice. Yeah, okay. For your next turn. I gain XP for the song, still being on. You can clear those things and open the door? I can. Yeah. 
I run out of all my good top actions, damn. <laughs> All right, Craggy. After you, sir. We're right behind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let us move five, jump, destroy all obstacles, and disarm all traps moved through. That is a burn, but this is the situation wow. to use it. That is a good one, yeah. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and I might just back out <laughs> into the, the other one. Yeah. I get five. Depending on what I see when I open this door. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, don't think that's right. Nope. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> is there anything in the book? No, for some reason, no. it just spawned the last room. Yeah. Nah, there's those fairies spawning again. Well, it spawned like wolves and bears back there, too. Or... Oh, you're right. Weird. All right, now you should be able to do um, some traps. Oh, I want to see where my attack range is. So I need to draw air. Watch, well, a lot of imps. Bear. One, two, three. Uh, that's a lot of imps. If I don't move out, I can't attack. I wonder how, how valuable I consider attacking at the moment. I can push someone too if I attack them. But then I get attacked by a bunch of people. Yeah, bears both have a move of four. Oh boy. Imps still have a range of four, so it's going to be... Although they're not attacking this round. Which is good, but there's going to be no avoiding the imps. There might be avoiding the bears, though. Yeah, if I move in there, there's really no way for me to... He can go one, two, three, four. He can get me all the way over there. We go here and push him back. He can still get me. He can go one, two, three. Yeah. All right. No, I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to move back here. Clear out this trap. Unfortunately, I'm, that's a waste of your uh, buff, but... I mean, I don't, yeah. I just didn't expect him anything better to do. <laughs> yeah. like to attack, but that is scary. So the imps do nothing but stand there with a big old shield... And a heal. Um, the cave bears all have a move of four and an attack of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. Attack for four. Hello, Mr. Bear. Four, four damage. Okay. Oh, did I get my health from last time? Is it still on? No, uh, it is still on, yeah. Okay. Did not. Uh, and Scourge. Okay. So, do a move four. One, two, three. And then bear number three. We'll just do an attack three, range three, and curse. So. Attack three. Four damage to the bear. Just so much hit points to get through here. Mm hmm. Into a and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, you were advantaged, though, with the strengthen. Yeah, I am really one more time. Oh, now he's poisoned. There you go. Throw poison on there. <laughs> Speed for the song. I've got a move three, attack three, range three. I think I have to use my boots, which I actually not used yet. Oh, did you throw the curse card in their deck? Uh, no. Did you curse them? Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, no, I did not. I get it. One, two, three, four, five. I will also shoot that bear with attack three, but since they're poisoned, it's a four. It's just four. Once again, I'm not going to use my top action for anything, because I still think the heal two is probably the best thing. Two. There's a round.
Um, well, I can stun the bears. Big bear fair. Ah. I can do my good curse stun that I did with the wolves. Um, I don't really need you to, well, yeah, I'll probably go very slow. So yes, go ahead and go ahead and stun your. I only know one speed, sir. Awesome yep. speed. <laughs> what I just did is threw a card. Since I'm flying, I can move through them, right? Sure can. If I wanted to. You want to go in there and get fucked up by those imps? That is your right. <laughs> that is your right as a bug man. <laughs> Imp fire. 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 There and tank those imps. I mean, they only do like one damage at a time. That is true. They just stack all the bullshit effects. Oh, those stupid fast bears. Ooh, well, that means they're true. not. They do their shield, retaliate, and heal to self. Eh, that one dude's only going to so heal the poison. He heals the poison. They both turn on a shield, and they both turn on retaliate too, which you'll have to help me remember. This round. Melee? Is it melee retaliate or? It's melee retaliate. Yeah. Okay. All right, my turn. Again, XP for the song, and I will do an attack one, range three, and curse both of these bears. Let's do attack one on the back bear. That is a miss, but still adds a curse. And attack one on the other bear. It's a one damage. Don't forget they have a shield. Oh shit, you're right. Ah! That shield yeah. negates that, but they do get the curse. Man, I wish I had my disadvantage song. They have so many curses now. Yeah. Awesome. That's a good idea. Leave that up there. Uh, again, XP for doing that, and then I will stun both bears. I guess for their next round. Mm-hmm. Survive. Screw you, bears! Okay, Scourge. Okay. I'm gonna do an attack for range 3 and curse that bear. <laughs> More curse. Wow, even more curse. Yeah, so two damage. Two He's curses. immobilized. Yeah, and two curses. We have exhausted the curse deck now. They are they have <laughs> ten curses in there. Max curses? Yeah, which unfortunately is going to get fucking wasted when all these imps attack us for, like, nothing. Right, one damage piece. Yeah. I know he's stunned the next turn, but I don't care. I immobilized him. I'm putting the stupid thing up there. <laughs> Did I poison him too? Curse. No, just immobilize. Okay. That's it for me. Alright, we turn all these bullshit imps and none of them are attacking. Not moving any closer. Well, none of them are attacking. They're all healing this turn. Oh great. But I think I still have to move as if they Yeah, we're gonna target. As if they have a target. So they, have a tar so they have a range four, they have a move of five. And this is still a wall considered here in front of you. It is. So vision might actually be a deal here. Yeah. So this one would go here. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. One, no? Two, oh, no, it can, it can hit you from back there. From back yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four. All right. Starting with number. Oh, no, there's another elite. Sorry. Um, one, two. That one would go here. Yeah. Uh, and meanwhile, all these guys are healing this bear. One, two, one, two. Uh, the normal one. I think you can still see me. The right edge of its token. here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. The bear's within three, so one, two. Or seven. One, two, three, four. Bears healed. One, two. God damn it. Fucking imps. And one, two, uh, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Also heals that bear. That bear, God. Oh no! Just fully healed that stupid bear. You stupid imps! <laughs> it's like the they have the perfect party composition: two big they old do. beefs and yep. a bunch of bullshit support guys back there. <laughs> All right, Craig Hart. Uh, I'm about to burn a card. Which bear should we kill? Uh, which which would be better to die? And just kill somebody? Yep. I kill sure a normal can. enemy. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it's well, we an obstacle. Can't do the one. So yeah, we can't do the one at the door actually because then no, we won't be able to get in. We so. will literally not be able to get in. 
Uh, I would not. You could still. Yep. So bear number one is going to turn into a stone statue. It's going to petrify. All right. Waste my stun. Actually, we should we should put an obstacle down before I kill him. So with the token. There we go. Well, your stun is still working on the one that's right in my face. Yeah. <laughs> that's the important thing. You're welcome. Yep. And then I'm not going to move. I can't move. There's a bear in the door. Yep. Bear. So that will do it. All right. End of the round. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, I made a thing. How did I do that? <laughs> Look here. And I have a short rest. Yeah. Um. Also have a short I'm, rest. I'm running out of cards, folks. We better be to move along here. It's getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. I still have a stamina potion, but yeah. I've got five cards left. Me too. Stamina potion gives me another two turns, I think. Yeah, I use I always use that stamina potion like immediately. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. the first opportunity I get. Yeah. I usually wait till the the later, but yeah, I should have because I had better cards. I got rid of a lot of I lost like I lost a lot of cards on the way. <laughs> I, I still have a bunch of cards left. And aren't you the one that needs to get rid of cards for your battle call? <laughs> yep. All right. Um. Well, I still have my stun, but I need to be closer. I think. Two, three, four. Actually, yeah, I so, could get done a bunch of imps. I feel like I've asked this question a number of times, but when I do push, does it have to be the diametrically opposite hex? It does not, but you do have to make it so it's further away each time. Okay. You can't just push them like around you or something. Right. Okay. As long as you're creating an so additional I... hex between you when you push. Right. Okay. <laughs> Or I can attack all three. Ooh, I think that might be better. Is it worth stunning? I can attack three imps. Yeah. <laughs> I know, is it better to beat down this bear or try to hit the imps back there? I don't know. Well, the imps gonna, the bear is stunned this round, so it I'm is. feeling like the imps might be the better target right now. Although, bears is going to come back next turn. I can't get in that room with that bear right there at all, so I'm just going to have to worry yeah. about it. Although, I can't actually hit... Stun for... Yeah, get the book terror. I'd like to go is go after the bear so I can shut down the bear for the next turn after that. Ah, uh, yeah. Go kind of slow. Oh, rats. Bear's going even slower. Ha! Huh. Shoot. How the hell am I going first at a 31? Yeah, that's, that's pretty question. nuts. God, that means the bear has everything from a 13 to an 80. That's nuts. <laughs> That's real crazy. That's pretty hard to dissipate. Uh, oh, he's going to move and attack twice. That's going to hurt. He is. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, so I'm going to do an attack two, range four, target two. I can hit the bear and the uh, front elite imp, so elite imp six. Because he's just within four. One, mm, two, three, yeah. four. All right. Okay. Bear is attack two. It's done again. Ooh, done. So three damage. That's that's great. Keep that bear stunned. <laughs> what do we do with everybody else? That still only lasts to his next full turn. Yeah. And then oh, he's still stunned. Oh, because okay, he hasn't gone right. yet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The imp is poisoned and doesn't take any damage. Okay. I do get an XP for that. And then... Uh, yeah, three, four, five. Yeah, you're going in there. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going in there. You're six. It's a jump six. Shit. It lands me right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those imps are going to fuck you up! <laughs> He knows the yeah, they are. Pain. <laughs> Whatever, but their deck is full of curses. Yeah. 
He's also going to grab all those coins and I can feel it. That's, yes, I am. That's, I would anticipate that being the case. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, I am. I'm going to go ahead and short rest here. <laughs> I need that card back. Speaking of imps, oh, it, it looted that chest, but technically you didn't. You don't loot it yet. Yeah, you, uh, I know. Yeah. Uh, yep, imps have a move and attack. So everybody is at move four, attack two, and range of four. So they're all going to be targeting a scourge. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yep. So that's one, two, three, four, five attacks, and two of them are going to curse you. That's whatever. All right, so attack number one is a one damage. Okay. I'm just going to keep a tally and do it all at the end. Okay. Keep going. Attack number two is one damage. <clears throat> okay. I actually have to move uh, one of them away from you. Where would you like to put this elite imp? This uh, spot that is... Back. Uh, back to where my mouse is. I don't think it would... Well... No, okay. It would have to. It I has guess to it would. Do. Yeah, one, two, that's true. One, I was thinking two, of it moving to the yeah. side, but I guess it doesn't matter. It would still. Yeah, that's we could fine. choose. Yeah, it's, it's, better, still... it's better for my attack if you choose. Okay. There. I was thinking I wouldn't move that far back if it can't, but it's still one, two, one, two. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's all, it's all the same. Yeah. All right, and it's still in range. Okay. Um. So that was two of them, right? Yeah. Yep. Two minus ones. Okay. Um. Two damage. Okay. Four damage. Okay. <laughs> and four damage. Yes. How much is that? I have one hit point left. Wow. My goodness. My goodness, indeed. Did I didn't draw a single f curse. No, no, you didn't, because you know you had to call it. Oh, their deck is full of curses. It, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That no. Hurts. Instead, you drawed times two. I sure did. God damn it! How many crits have they fucking gotten this round? Holy shit! All right, Craghart. Hope you're happy. My poor bug man. Greg Arts, not gonna move. He's just gonna empower his sentient growth. Um, I got lots going... of cards I can ditch whenever I need to. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna do an attack three on three of the fairies. Fairies, elite, both the elites and number seven. Yeah, he needs to just short rest every round to just Ooh. get rid of those cards. Right. Um, so here is Elite 5, attack 3 is 6 uh, damage. Minus, minus 2, two shields. Is... Okay. Uh, elite 6. Also 6 damage, which is 4. And number 7. That is 2 damage, which does nothing. And that is it for me. Okay, song. Uh, did you heal two at the start of your turn? I did not. I will though. All right. Well, I was hoping to re-disarm or disarm this bear after we woke up from stun, but right, that did not happen. So instead, I'm not going to do anything with my bottom action, but my top action, I can stun. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. In fact, now they're at the triangle. I can stun the two elites and the normal imp. Wow. All right. That'll help. Yeah. Disarming the bear doesn't do any good. This round, and I don't want to be next to it. <laughs> Did you do an extra damage for number six that's also poisoned? Nope. Now I have. So, it's gone. And then the bear is stunned and does nothing. That is the end of the round. Now I'm scared of the bear. Now we should be scared of the bear. <laughs> The big bear. <laughs> yes. It is in your face. I don't well, have any good options. There's an even greater there, chance right? it's going to draw a curse now. That's right. There's literally no more curses to give them.
Oh, I don't have any Tim's good cards different. left. I don't want to die. <laughs> I mean, you kind of do. You got cards you want to get rid of. Yeah, there's still a lot of bad guys on the board. Our first. Mm hmm. So it's uh, loot two. action has to be at the end of your turn. So heal two. And then I'm going to do an attack four, range three, and curse. So let's do that on. These three are stunned, so it doesn't matter. So let's do it on imp number one. So it's an attack four. Pack eight. Fuck you, ramp. Ooh. Bless. <laughs> Bless. Wow. Why is it not going away? Why do I suck so much at this? It's a very specific <laughs> little area, like above the number you have to put, or above the icon, I think. Yeah. All right. And then you're like this. Mm. Loot two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Take it all. So, so many coins. that one and that one and that one and that one and that one. And the chest. And the chest, which I already got. Yeah, we do stop to kill all enemies. Yeah. That's a lot of coinage. Yep. All right, that's... Oh, I'm going to go ahead and drink my healing potion. So I'll get five more hit points. Loot 2 is a loss, but God, you've gotten a lot of mileage out of that thing. Yeah. Mm. Worth it. <laughs> oh, and I cursed him. Oh, no, I didn't, because that guy died. Never mind. We can't. There's no more curses left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too bad you couldn't have drawn them last turn. It, it's it's too bad. <laughs> pretty crazy that that didn't happen. We literally have a third deck of 30 cards. <laughs> uh, crack card. Um, crack card's not going to attack the bears because of how his cards ended up. Um... Instead, all he's not going to move, but all allies, he's going to move one of the two. And all all adjacent allies and enemies suffer one damage. Oh, wait, that'll be you too. Fucking dickhole. You can take it. God. You move right here, and you'll take one damage, and so will the bear. Um, and then he will I do I heal attack. you, and this is what you do to me. <laughs> That's right. It's totally incidental. It's just his rumbling advance. He drops some rocks on you. Um, he's going to throw, he's gonna throw a massive boulder. I need to heal, yeah. Uh, attack three, range three, and all allies and enemies adjacent to the target suffer one damage. So Throw it where the coin is. Um, oh, I have to attack an enemy. Well, never mind then. Yeah. So I'm going to attack number five, which means all the rest of them take one damage. I just clicked something off on number five, I think. But, um, it oh, stunned. it was just done. Yeah. Okay. And then attack three on number five is five damage. Minus two is three. He's dead. I'm also having trouble. You guys all suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to write down what we've been killing. I've already got forest tents, but we've been killing bears and hounds, too. Yeah, you killed the bear, cave bear. Yeah, yeah. And you killed a hound? Yeah. Did you? I'm sure I did. <laughs> I, I don't I will remember. say, yeah. I, I, we'll killed, say I, I killed one, I know that. Yeah. I killed that one that fucked you up. I know there's I killed three of them. There's been, there have been a lot of hound deaths. I'm, I'm going to count. <laughs> who can say one. who killed what hounds? <laughs> All right, um, the imps are mostly stunned except for number eight, which has an attack minus one, target two, and curse. It's going to attack one and attempt to curse. Let's see, one, two, three, four, yeah. Attack of one and trying to curse or will curse uh, Plague Herald and Crag Heart. So Plague Herald first. So miss, you just get cursed, no damage. And then Crag Heart, also no damage and a curse for you. Okay. And then the bear 
His attack plus one is going to be five damage to Cragheart. Come on, Yikes. curse. Nope, four damage. All right. I didn't do the health from last time either. And then I gain XP for the song. Go move three, attack three, range three. Actually, if I do that, I don't know what disadvantage, but probably worth it. All right. Well, actually, I could move up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move up and attack the elite imp up there. Okay. Uh, so three damage should be, or, and plus poison is one, four damage. Should kill that imp. That to you. I'm having trouble. There we go. <laughs> and then. Just say it's hard to do. Uh, yes, I will say that. I'll finally use my versatile dagger to turn this regular into an attack of three and attack the bear. Cannot add a curse. There's no more. God damn it. All those rollings led to a miss. Fuck. Oh boy. Oh. Oh my goodness. That sucks. That's just rude. That is the end of the round. I'm going to drink my Stamina Potion. Three cards back. It's really funny. I did this buff at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> very beginning of the game. And I have never melee attacked while adjacent to an obstacle since. It's literally never come up. Really? Yep. That is a very specific one to get. I haven't been melee attacking hardly at all. I've been doing all my range attacks. Yeah. Now I need Start. to... Alright. Good. Still have this giant bear in our face. We do. Imps are never going to get close to me. Oh, I have a feeling the imps are going to die here in a second. Kill <clears throat> those imps. Well, at least one of them will. What do I want to do? All right. Let's hope the bear doesn't go fast here. Yeah, if he goes oh, fast, he doesn't attack, I think. But yeah, that could also be a pain in the ass. Uh, hang on, I want to switch cards. Yeah, we'll do this. Have you been short resting and losing cards? <laughs> no, nah, I need to do it again soon. <clears throat> I do currently have three cards in my hand right now. Ready? Bear is not going fast. So I'm going to do the same thing in reverse. I'm going to do a melee attack with a uh, attack of three on the bear. Wow, six. Nice. Bear is muddled. Turn around and shoot him dead. And then do a move three, attack three at range three. Let's go here and shoot him. Attack for attack three. Four, five. <laughs> All right, your little fucking bar just put out a bunch of damage on that asshole. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> like 10 damage. Uh, Craigart. Um, well, I'm probably gonna be able to kill him without using my... Actually, does that give me experience? I'm probably, I'd rather have the experience. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with my attack three and push the bear into that obstacle behind him. Which will kill him, so it doesn't really matter what I roll. Right. So, four damage, and then he takes two from the pillar, so it's six. He's very dead. And then I will just move, and the pillar's gone. I'll just move up to where the pillar used to be and get a coin. And that will do it. All right, Scourge. Okay. Well, that's... Okay. No, all right. So, attack to range four, target to get an XP... Um, so I can hit both of them with the range four. 
It's an attack two. Uh, imp number seven. Attack three. So it's one damage. And then eight. Stunned. Oop, that'll kill him. And then I will do my move, which I have a move for and to make darkness. One, two. I'll stop here. All right. Uh, MP. <laughs> alone him with one HP. Yeah, alone him with one HP. Backs up and shoots you. Base of two, and of course it is a miss. <laughs> <laughs> now they're coming. And then the yeah, and the cave bear is dead. I literally have two cards left, and I'm using them right now. Wow. So... Wait, I've got three cards left. The short rest, actually. I'm getting down there. I've got two left, and I've got three in my discard. Yeah. Which I'm not gonna be able to use my boss card. Did you short rest, uh, Scourge? Well, right now I have three cards in my hand. It's three or fewer cards. Oh, okay. In your total, or what? It just says in your hand. Oh. Yeah, have three or fewer total... Oh, shit, total cards. Damn it. Have three or fewer total cards? Yeah. Good lord. You have to yeah, be like Chris's now, I then, do. I guess. Yeah. yeah, basically. And I don't have any more lost cards, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I thought I was should low, have but I'm down to... Yeah, uh, that, that would you, if you include you the discard, be... I'm at five. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't done short resting, like, every turn in that last room, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I've got no more discard. That's so even if I got rid of one, that's five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's there's nothing I can do. I don't have any lost cards. Oh well. What is? I do have one lost card. Well, if you have five and you lose someone from a short rest and you, and you honestly, lose from a disco, from a I loss. mean, no, I'd have five after the short rest loss. If, if it's a difference between a turn or something, I mean, we can just poke a pixie for, a yeah, turn. we can literally just, we don't have to kill this imp. We can literally just wait until you have that fewer well, of cards. The other problem is it's the last bit of it says I have to be able to discard at the end of the scenario. All right, wait, what does the battle goal say? Have three or fewer total cards in your hand and discard at the end of the scenario. Okay, which means you've got, that's what I thought it meant. So you've oh, got three right. cards if you add up your hand and your discard pile. Mm hmm So what do you have right now if you oh, add up yeah, your I, hand I and your can't, discard? There's no way. So if I had short rested, so I'll, I'll just pretend like I did Yeah, go ahead and short here. rest. And then let me just ditch one of these cards because it doesn't matter. Right. All right, so I have five right now. I would put two up here, which I would do this one because it's a loss. Mm -hmm. And then probably this one so I could go fast. Yeah, you do that. And then next turn, next turn you short rest again, and then you'll have three. Yeah, we just don't kill this imp, basically. Okay, yeah. And I'm not scared of this imp killing us, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> we can game the system. One, we haven't, I mean, this is something you can definitely do in Gloomhaven more often. We've just never had a, a real reason to. Right. Until now. We've also had a lot of scenarios lately where we want to, we, we need to finish it quickly or yeah. lose. Yeah. So it forced imp. It's going to heal himself for one. Great. <laughs> what about shield of five? It'll be harder to kill him anyway. All right, Scourge, so it's Operation Lose Cards, but don't kill the enemy. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so I will go ahead and turn this on. So after each of your move actions, poison all adjacent allies and enemies. Gain an XP. <laughs> so it becomes active. 
Um, oh shit, do my active cards count as that? They do too? not, because at any time you could uh, turn them into losses also. So, I mean, and it, it says specifically okay. on that card, hand and discard, not active. All right, and then I won't do my top action here. So, I'll discard that. And then I will short rest again, there which means go. I would discard this one, or I'd lose that one. Okay, so now I have three cards in my hand. Okay. I will just move grab this coin. Oh, I forgot the auto thing. Oh, yeah, I, got to I will there. create a forest of crystal columns in the corner <laughs> to give myself an XP, and I will go grab this coin. Uh, as my top action, I can actually stun that imp also. <laughs> oh, okay. Can't do anything next turn. All right, that's the end of that round. Short rest again. I still have four cards. That was fine. <laughs> I've I've literally got two cards now. Yeah, I've done. got two cards in my hand, and that is literally all I've got. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are you at now, Scourge? I I have one in my hand and then two on the board. Yep, that's all we need. We can, we can yeah. just finish it now. Assuming we can actually kill the pixie now. Assuming we can kill the pixie. Can you kill this pixie? Alright. It's a reach. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to just, because I want to use this lost card, I'm just going to turn my thing into a move two and then do my lost card to stun all enemies. Even though he's already stunned, it doesn't matter, but just yeah. to gain two XP. Oh, I gained one for the song. Just to gain two XP. It's all now remember, one. the scenario ends as soon as that pixie dies. Yes. Oh, so that one of those go to the end of the round ones? Uh, I mean, it should, yeah. Yeah. All right, Craig Art. I'm just going to move to the coin. You, <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> You've got enough coins, you. woman. <laughs> oh, my lord. Nine coins and, for me. Oh, wait, oh my wait gosh. I, actually do, I actually do need to attack, too, don't I? <laughs> we actually need to try to kill the pixie. I mean, we do need to kill uh, the pixie at some point. Uh, I'm just gonna do an attack. That would be too. hilariously embarrassing if we actually did not able to kill this pixie. That's right. I'm, well, I, first, I'm gonna do attack of one and see if that kills him. Two damage. Oh, okay. that's right. I yeah, to, shield of two, boss. Two. Yep. All right, and then an attack of two. Three damage. I do one. All right. Finish the pixie. Imp does nothing. It's stunned, and then a scourge. You have a chance to finish that pixie. <laughs> All right, we'll do an attack three, range three, pierce two, gain an XP. <laughs> that'll, that should that probably should do it. do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Yep. All right. And then I have a move four, to which I will then move and take its coin. An insane amount of coins. With steely determination, you fight your way through wild animals and reach the plant you seek at the back of the grove. When you lean down to inspect it, however, you see the plant bears no fruit. It has been harvested very recently. With confusion, you glance around the grove, looking for clues to where the fruit could have gone. That's when you see the deep axe marks in all of the trees around you. Someone chopped the bark, not intending to cut the trees down, but only to wound them. Whoever it was wanted to anger the wildlife and have them viciously attack whomever came to this grove. And then you notice the faint tracks of a quattrill in the dirt. That conniving little unlocked <laughs> new location alchemy lab for 60. So that should be what quattrill my, is that? That should be my finale one. I don't know. It's funny that my character would be like a conniving little quattrill. Wait, I'm a quattrill. Yeah. The... There you go. Location for it. Uh, it is B15. Okay. And we were at scenario level four, so all of those coins are worth four apiece. And a bonus XP was 12. So they're how worth how many apiece? Four apiece. Sweet. That's 40 gold for me. 
Wow. Damn. Because I got ten of them. I Jesus. absolutely hit level nine, by the way. I have way more XP than I can handle. 17 plus 12 is 29. Um, yeah, how much did I get? 12 plus 12 is 24. For funsies, how much is that? It's 516. That is more than I can handle. I actually, go wow. above, but I can. Okay. I'm just going to go above. What the hell? I'll keep track of XP. Yep, I officially hit level 9. And I did get my battle goal, which was to take only short rests. Huh, okay. That'll get me a perk, and my leveling up will get me a perk. Let's see. Not get my battle goal. Yeah, sorry, boss. <laughs> Uh, like I said, there, there, it was going to be a very specific situation where I was going to be able to make it to that last door. Yeah. It was also it was also a gamble. The other one was a, was a sure thing. The other one I had was uh, nobody exhausts. I was like, ah, that one. I'm pretty sure I could do that one. <laughs> yeah. I take the gamble. This one. Two plus one. Oh, shit. I need to get rid of all of the many yeah. curses and blesses. So many of those in my deck at the end. It's two plus one is one plus four. Place a plus zero. I don't know if deck is stupidly good. I guess it doesn't usually attack. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of all the blesses and curses, which... Fire, type one fire. Yep, that's it. I go to, let's see. Where was the scenario one? Let's see if that's. All right, all it really does is pull the tokens off. <laughs> it does say I'm already at max HP, so maybe it also resets your HP and experience. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it does fix your HP. But not your XP. It does not, re yeah, it does not reset the XP, though. <laughs> all right, that's not as uh, useful. Nor the hand and all that stuff. Yep. I used almost all of my things. Yeah. Ah. That one got less hairy the farther along it went. That, yeah, that, it starts off real. Area. Yeah, you had all those multiple elite just bears and stuff, and then. Yep. Honestly, I mean, you took a lot of damage at first that time you opened the door, which was really hairy. Yep. But you standing in the doorway like really did prevent. It did. You know, bo we both early bears out. we had um, did almost nothing. We were able to shut those guys down. Mm hmm. All right, it's late. Indeed. Anybody uh, level up besides me? Negative. I'm nope. at 308, and I need 345 for level 7. 464, and I'm on my way to 500. <laughs> yeah, you are. All right, so next time we'll complete my retirement, and I'll be level 9 starting that scenario, um, which I'll look at my cards in a second. Did you already put that uh, thing on the map? Yeah. For 60? Yes. Sweet. Got my level nine cards. I'm gonna go to sleep. Yes, have a good night, dear. Mm -hmm. Did you finish Bye. the recording? Um, not yet. You need to chat about something.
No. I was gonna show my level nine stuff, but Okay. Looks like look at that. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I've got captivating performance. Song that's all allies add plus one to all their attacks. Wow. And the bottom half, ooh, is a stun range three, target three. What? Target three? Yeah, which is it does not do any damage. I don't know, it's still it's still very stun good. Three, on stun the bottom. Three creatures. Yeah, because I've already I've already got a stun on the top, which is my triangle one. Yeah. But this one you don't have to have in that formation. Or Shadow Puppets, move four, jump, force all enemies moved through to perform an attack three action targeting another enemy with you controlling the actions. What? And the bottom is two allies within range three may perform an attack four. Wow. That's interesting. So a move four, jump on the top, but all enemies moved through perform an attack three targeting another enemy. But how often are you going to be able to move four past multiple enemies that attacking each other? Well, yeah. And I honestly never use the other card that's a bottom half that's like, have this ally perform an attack four. Right. Versus the one that has the plus one attack song and the stun three range three. Why is there XP on a level nine card? That's hilarious. <laughs> Still earning XP. Yeah, Shadow Puppet seems fun, but uh, Captivating Performance kind of seems like the obvious choice here. Definitely got some bullshit cards I could get rid of. Um, Emily, the one that has the shit. Yeah, I'll probably just take that. I mean, I'm only going to have one, one turn of using it. I'm using level 9, so that will complete that adventure. Next time, we will tackle the Alchemy Lab and get rid of that conniving Quattro. Stupid Quattro's. Nice, yeah. <laughs>